Is sleep really important for our health? I'm Michelle Darian, and I'm a registered dietitian at Inside Tracker. So you may have heard that sleep can be very beneficial for your health. You might have heard this from your mom, from your grandma, um, from anybody in your life who kind of gives you health advice. Um, but I'm here to tell you that the rumors are true. So sleep can be very beneficial for your health for a number of different reasons. To begin, um, sleep can be beneficial for your health because of its um, impact on helping your muscles recover. So when you're asleep, a lot of your muscle recovery actually occurs. Um, not only do your muscles recover while you sleep, but actually your memories become consolidated. So it can help with, co with cognitive function as well. Something that sleep can also help with is your metabolic function. And actually those who have a lot of sleep disturbances are associated with having poor metabolic health as well. Also, we know that sleep can be related to longevity. So we know that having kind of that optimal amount of sleep can help you to live a healthier and longer life. What's the ideal amount of sleep that a person should get per night? It turns out that the research shows that people should get about seven to nine hours of sleep per night. Being able to get seven to nine hours of restful quality sleep per night is associated with improvements when you wake up, such as improved mood, improved resilience to stress, um, and a bunch of other things like muscle recovery, cognition, and even improved immune system. And not only can sleeping for less than six hours per night leave you feeling kind of groggy and irritable when you wake up, it's also associated with other factors like your decreased immune response um, or abnormal metabolic control. Um, it can impact your appetite. Um, it can impact a lot of different factors in your body. And it's also associated with a higher risk of all-cause mortality. Um, so having a low sleep duration can be something that threatens longevity. So it's interesting because sleep can be so beneficial for so many processes in the body, but more isn't always better. It turns out that sleeping for longer than nine hours per night is associated with a greater risk of all-cause mortality as well. Um, it's interesting, so researchers are still trying to tease out whether that relationship is due to other specific factors that can lead somebody to sleeping more often. So how do your vitamin D levels impact your sleep? It's interesting because studies show that vitamin D levels can actually affect your sleep. So having optimal vitamin D levels is associated with being able to sleep those seven to eight hours per night. And the opposite is also true. So having suboptimal vitamin D is associated with poor levels of sleep. Researchers hypothesize that this might be due to two different factors. The first being vitamin D's indirect role in the production of melatonin. Um, so melatonin is that hormone that's part of our natural sleep-wake cycle that can make us feel sleepy. Um, so vitamin D might help to indirectly affect your melatonin levels. And secondly, our vitamin D receptors are involved with that same area of the brain that actually regulates your sleep. So how does sleep impact your energy metabolism markers? So it's interesting. So studies show that both short-term sleep deprivation and long-term sleep deprivation can actually impact your metabolic markers. Um, so it impacts the way your body is able to metabolize and process sugar, uh, which in turn can affect your blood glucose levels and your HbA1c levels. A lack of sleep is also associated with an increase in appetite. Um, so basically, when you have a lack of sleep, it actually can impact your hunger hormones. Um, so basically the hormones that are deployed and to make you feel hungry and know that it's time for another meal. Um, so that's why you can uh, sometimes feel more hungry when you've had more sleep deprivation. So do you struggle to fall and stay asleep? Here are five tips to help you fall asleep faster. Number one, use a dehumidifier. I would recommend to keep the humidity in your room to under 50%. So that might mean using a dehumidifier. Something that can also help is lowering the temperature in the room. And I typically recommend to keep the room temperature under 68 degrees. You can also use essential oils. Um, it's interesting that research actually shows that spraying a scent of lavender can help you to fall asleep faster. I'd also recommend to avoid your screen before bed, um, whether that's from your phone, whether that's watching TV or having your laptop up, um, that, that blue light that's emitted can actually be detrimental to your sleep. It's interesting because your body wants to produce melatonin in order to make yourself feel sleepy, um, but any of those bright lights can help to decrease the amount of melatonin that's actually produced. I also recommend to stop drinking caffeine at least four to five hours before bedtime. So caffeine can be kind of stimulating and kind of keep you more awake. Um, so anything you can do to limit caffeine or to stop drinking caffeine earlier in the day can actually be beneficial for your sleep. Thanks so much for watching and follow Inside Tracker for more.